so this is the uv robot this is how it looks it is the uv light of 11 watt this is usb mic this is the back portion of the robot which has switch to turn off and on the uv robot this is the vent for air circulation these are four leds to indicate the power while charging and if the switch is on it will turn on so this is the there is the camera this behind that hole it has four wheels now the green light is on it indicates whether the uv robot is on or off and this wire here it is for charging the battery which is 12 volt 8 ampere hour battery now i will turn on the switch and we can see that two leds are on this indicates the red red led indicates power and orange indicates that the battery is charging this led will turn on while battery is full charge so now the battery is getting charged so the battery is getting charged it will take some time to get charged so now I will turn off the charger and now I have turned off the UV robot now let me show you this part these are holes for the speaker output here I have fixed the speaker using screws now we will go to the laptop and we will see the working so this is my laptop and this is the desktop of the raspberry pi I have opened through VNC viewer and now I will open the code we will open it from VS code so this is the VS code and here is the code for capturing the live stream from the camera now we will run this code by pressing the play button here's the view from the raspberry pi camera which is in the robot so currently i am in the clinic so let me show you So this is the clinic which we will sanitize through this robot using UV light. Now I will open another code for the movement of the robot. Now I will open the folder and select the file which is robot 
underscore move so this is the code for the movement of the robot now I will run it by using play button and here you can see there are five buttons forward stop right and backward so as I will press the forward button the robot is moving forward as I press stop button it is stop we can also see it from this camera now I will press backward button it is coming backward it has came backward this is how it will move now we will move it right You can move right now. I will rotate it here. So, this is how it will work. Now, I will turn on the UV light. So, for that, I will run the code for the UV light. So let's open the code using VS code. Now I will run this code to turn on the UV light and I have kept the camera on another room to capture the robot. So here you can see the UV light is turned on. Now I will move it forward so here you can see this is moving forward and backward and in this way the robot can sterilize and disinfect the room so now I will uh, control the robot from Android phone. I will open the VNC Viva app. Now this is Raspberry Pi 4. I have named it and now I will put the password. Now I will press on continue. So this is the now I will make it landscape and you can see this is the Raspberry Pi screen and here we can control the mouse and similarly we can open all the programs from here We can also maximize or minimize it. Here we can open any program that we want. It is not, it is now getting opened. Now here we can minimize or maximize it. The code is now open from the Android and similarly we can open another codes also and we can also control the Raspberry Pi. So 
let me show you code for the moment here we can press right backward buttons and similarly we can open any code from the android phone detection so let me share my script so yes, first of all we have installed the pip for our python then we have imported some libraries but the first library which we have imported it is a cv2 and uh, a cv2 is basically helps for the drawing process uh, with the open cv to add the labels to the images and classifications of the images that's why we have used the cv2 and the second library that uh, which we have reported uh, that is a uuid so uuid basically which helps uh, in generating the uh, random objects of 128 bits as a unique ids and then uh, a third library which we have added that is a os so os model is the part of the standard library uh, within the python 3 and uh, this means uh, which comes from the python python model itself and uh, third uh, fourth one that is we have imported for the time and it will show the time so the next that is we have used that is the labels so the label which you have used that is thumbs up and uh, the number of the images that will be taken uh, captured that is a five so uh, images parts uh, which we have is added first of all uh, we have taken from the tensorflow workspace then the images and collected images and here we have returned some logic for our object detection code so see here uh, here my camera gets started and uh, uh, it is collecting images see first image uh, here it is collected second is also collected fourth one is also collected and uh, when now i am in front of camera and uh, when i am in front of camera automatically our camera gets be uh, off so this is our uh, total code uh, for our object detection thank you